not feeding the dog, are you? No, I'm looking for my badge. They give you two things when you're a cop, a gun and a badge. I have one. Can't find my badge. It's, it's on the thingy. Thing, the thing, I was just over by the thing. It's not there. Shorty, sure, remember our plan. You're gonna stay strong, I'm gonna give you food, all right? Just don't tell mom I gave you that, all right? Daniel Fisher. Trying to build the world's most dominant pug. He's going through a bulking phase. Look at him. Come here. That ain't bad. Come here, I'll show you the thingy. Just buy the thing. I'll just buy the thing. It's not the thingy. This is the thing. Yeah. I didn't know you meant that thing. Of course not. It's here. You know, I still got like 10 minutes. Yeah? It only takes you two, honey. Come on. I think it's a strong two. <laughs> Good work. Be safe, okay? Go. Love you, Shorty. Hey, Hank. Hey, Molly. <laughs> oh, shit, I am definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. Hey, man, what's going on? So you, uh, you gotta get permission from the old lady and the dog now to come to work? You know? Just the dog. <laughs> hey, homework. FBI is tracking this guy through the corridor. They need some handle. <laughs> Coming out of the hotel. Target matches four out of five points. Gators on Royal, 200 block. All available. Agents, scramble. We need a clear lock. Get audio in place. He's moving towards Bourbon. I'm 50 yards back. Come on, people. I can't afford to lose this guy again. I'm in position. Target heading towards me. Clear shot. Hold position. Sir, the locals need Shut up. Show me that Irish bastard. Confirm, all teams, we have a positive ID on Miles Jackson. You want to see the face of the devil? There it is. Brought down transatlantic flight 212, bombed the American embassy in Frankfurt. The man decapitated his own brother for blowing a deal in Tangiers. It's game day, people. Let's go. Got him. He's got his cell phone out now. Sir, he's making the call. Hey, open up Samuel's feet. It's an incoming call, sir. Still encrypted. Fifteen minutes. They banned in war from Permission Way. Miles is bringing the weapons and we're making the exchange. I got three tap cameras, including the harbor crane. I need Team One to get me set up inside. Samuel, remember our deal. You ever want to see your brother again, you do as I say when I say it. We get Miles, we get the weapons, you and Joshua get your freedom. Clear? Cloud. Now we dance. No. Hey, hey. Hang on, he stopped. Let's see. He takes your bishop, knight to c4, pawn to a7, rook to block. He takes your queen. It's all over but the crying. Try a uh, pawn to a6. It's better. picks on miles have them establish a 10 block perimeter around the wharf sir should you call the director no this is the first time that miles has been out in the open in two years the director has no idea you're about to cut a deal there is no deal we use samuel and joshua to get to miles we bring them all down nobody's going anywhere ray this time he's not getting away from me just give me the scoop so you can pop the question or what I'm just saying, you know, you move in with the Lady of the Ring usually comes next. Bro, it's been two weeks. And? Yeah, you've lived with like 14 different girls. Well, yes, I did, but I'm sexier than you. <laughs> I mean, a freakishly large man such as yourself is going to keep a fine woman like Molly. You're going to have to put her in cuffs.
ETA two minutes. Cameras are up inside the morning. First position. All teams on my mark. We get miles to lead us to the location of the guns. We proceed with extract. Okay, so this how this rodeo is gonna work. You give me the briefcase. I give you the PDA with the coordinates of the weapons. It's all very simple. No. I can't do this. Don't you do this, you son of a bitch. Cab. Do what? I set you up. <laughs> the FBI knows you're here. They're watching us right now. They. They know you're here. And now I'm never gonna see my brother again. on Josh. Samuel's gonna try to get his brother. Make a deal? Ray, pick up the phone! The FBI told us exactly where they were positioned. Go around. Okay. You all right? It's gonna bruise like a bitch. Lucky I didn't aim any lower. Man, it's just like those pansy-ass feds. I mean, they call us, we jump right away. We call them, cities under seven feet of water. Hey, five days, take it easy. Those guys skin my ass, Danny, they really do. Look at this guy. Arms trafficking, espionage, murder. Hell, he even sold two dirty bombs in Paris last year. Interpol says he's got two more on the market. Like the city needs more to deal with? I mean, really, why can't they take that crap someplace else? Kansas, Iowa, Helsinki. All units were in black FBI request assistance, sending target information. Eight male suspects, three vehicles heading to Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Sounds like the feds dropped the ball again. Surprised. <laughs> Someone broke into the safe house. They took Joshua and killed our agents. He did it again. How do you want to proceed with the convoy? We'll take him. Take him. I threw in an extra 5% for treating my brother and I so well. Was it any trouble getting him out? For me? Nah. For the two guards I had to kill? Maybe. He's waiting at the airfield? Yeah, he's there right now. Why don't you give him a call? You know what the funny thing is, Sam? If I hadn't have found out the FBI was holding your brother as a bargaining chip to catch me, you'd have gone along with this whole double cross without so much as a consideration. And I'd be out of my hard-earned cash. The FBI would probably have me in custody. And you and your douchebag brother would be holding hands somewhere in the south of France. Yeah? Hello? 
I'm sorry, Joshua can't come to the phone right now and drop on. Thanks for the ride. with one hand, and quietly slip out the back with the other. I can finally afford that pony that you've always wanted. <laughs> I'll drive. Stop that car. That's the girl. The girl in the car. an Irish dude in a gray band. You think this is a good idea? Just ask her the questions. Such a waste of time. License and registration, ma'am. Evening, officer. But uh, what seems to be the problem? Evening. License and registration, please. Yeah, of course. Hope I'm not in any sort of trouble. How does everything look? Oh, huh? outstanding. But tell me, what's a pretty lady like you doing driving all by herself through a neighborhood like this? Sometimes I like to be alone. Sometimes I don't. Give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Here, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Listen. Here's my card. You know, for those times when you don't. Ask her to open the trunk. I'm gonna work my shit over here. What are you doing? Ask her. I need you to pop your trunk. This just got interesting. I got this. 1013, officer down. You alright, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, he shot me in my ass. In your ass? Take pressure on it. Three minutes to EMS. Oh, no, Danny, 
I know that. Look, you wait for backup. Don't be a cowboy. Danny! Left or right? I don't know, baby. You watch that side, I'll watch this side. Got it. The suit on foot. It's parallel with the UK. Suspects in a gold BMW. Left on St. Claude, right on Montmartre. We cross the bridge, we get on the jet, we never see the New Orleans Police Department again, I promise. Still on foot pursuit. Subjects headed towards the marina. It's like two blocks on the bridge. Home free. Fisher. I remember you. On the ground. Table, you're shooting the range. Oh, he's got jokes, huh? I'll take those, Jesse. Hey, Mama, this might be a little strange, but Danny here wants to know if we think I'm sexy. Huh? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, inquiring last guy. No. <laughs> Don't worry about him, darling. You're safe. We had him neutered. He's safety first. 
Get an animal change, man. <laughs> hey, a toast. Right on. To my partner. One year ago tomorrow, we made detective. Yeah, and all because of my outstanding police work, huh? Okay, all right. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that you captured an international arms dealer. <laughs> hey, but seriously, bro, I mean, from patrols in the lower ninth to this. Did never bother you? What? What, the mandated pay raise, the flashy new badge? <laughs> Benefits of being a minor celebrity? Hell no. You just never think about what would happen if you just stayed put and called for backup that night like you were supposed to? Uh, aside from the fact that I wouldn't have a bullet hole in my ass cheek? Yeah, besides that. Yeah, no, Danny, not at all. You know what, neither should you. Just saying. The girl dies that night and we get promoted. That's it. I got to. Oh, come on. It's fellas' night out. One more. One more. We've had like six more. Because I got to go home. Why? Because that beautiful woman, that annoying dog, well, they're waiting for me. All right. All right. I can't argue with that. All right, man. Good luck. Oh, come on, son. I don't need luck. This ain't about luck. Water on the floor. Look at Shorty. I don't know. Phil's gonna be here in a few minutes. <sighs> That's all I need. Put another one of that guy's kids through college. This is not a big deal. This is our home. Yeah, and apparently our home is stop, made of durable stop, paper mache. Stop, stop. Look, I have to go to the hospital. I'm doing another night shift. I'm putting you and Shorty in charge. Fantastic. Sleeping in the guest room. There's leftover pork chops. Make sure you feed Phil when he's done saving our house. Love you guys. Dude, didn't I tell you two months ago that you had to replace the stop valve? What stop valve? Look, I told you it had a crack. I said you'd take care of it yourself, save a little cash. <sighs> Spent all afternoon underneath that sink. I was gonna get to it. When, two months ago? That's when I just bought the new car. I was trying to save some cash. I can't handle this. I, I'm gonna be late. Molly. Danny, what? Look, I need a little help here, okay? I mean, first it was the gas bill and the air conditioning and now the sink. I mean, I love you. I just, I need to know that I can trust you with these things. That's all, okay? I'm sorry. There you go. Molly, wait. Okay. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Dude, sorry I didn't mean to make a ruckus, but the plumber's got a plumb. You want a little advice? It's the ones that go underneath the sink. Those are the ones that you don't want to have walk away. Officer Fisher, for the New Orleans Police Department. Detective Fisher, who's calling? This is Miles Jackson. How you been? Why the hell are you calling me? Say hello. <laughs> Chat about the weather, see if you fancy a quick bite. Yeah, prison food tastes like shit. Yes, it does. One of the many reasons that I left. Uh, I put you there, Miles. I'm pretty sure I'd know if you were out by now. Really, Danny? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I think you might have been left out of the loop on this one. Okay, so where are you? Close enough to smell Molly in the shower while you were taking your little nap. It's a real shame about the plumbing, because I was really starting to enjoy the show. Danny! I 
where you are or what you're doing. You come anywhere near me and Molly, I swear to God. Danny, please, just shut up. You killed the love of my life. That was an accident, Miles. <laughs> Oh, and poor Phil. He was really looking forward to those pork chops. Phil! Phil, get out of the house! carefully to me, Danny. It's our anniversary. One year ago, today, whether by dumb luck or uncompromising skill, you bested me. And as such, today, we are going to have our rematch. I just took round one. The last time we met, you took from me what can never, ever be replaced. And for that, I am going to take from you. Now, I just wonder, do you think Molly is going to be able to trust me? Miles! Miles! safe. Boy. Hank, call the OT. Have him stall the Thomas Jefferson Ferry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on, Danny? Slow down. Miles Jackson, he broke out of prison. I don't know how. But if we don't stop that ferry in the next 30 seconds, I'll never see Molly again. All right, all right. The OT, I'm on it.
Molly! Molly, pick up! Whoa, whoa, Detective Danny Fisher! Secure this area now. Ladies and gentlemen, hold it! Stop for a minute! Hey. Where is she? She's gone! She just gets on the ferry and she's gone! Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Maybe she's just on the streetcar on her way to the hospital. No, 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 you don't understand. He said I took from him what could never be replaced. He's gonna kill her! Hey, Danny! Danny, that's not gonna happen, okay? We're gonna find her, we're gonna get her back. Oh, come on, pick up. Pick up! Molly Porter's phone. Let me talk to her. How do you know she's not dead already? I'm just teasing, Danny. Come on. Come on, where's your sense of humor? Hey, say hello to your boyfriend. Danny, please. We're in a silver bay. Molly! Molly, where are you? That one was for free. The rest you'll have to earn. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna hunt you down and I'm gonna kill you. Well, you know what? I look forward to that, Danny. It's a game. What, you like games, don't you? Mousetrap, Monopoly, Naked Twister. This one's called 12 Rounds. Round one, I took your house. Round two, I took Molly. The only way to keep her alive, you do exactly what I say when I say it. If you're still standing after all 12 rounds, well then, you'll have won her back. You gotta be kidding me. You can't expect me to believe that you're gonna keep me... Well, yeah, you believe what I tell you to believe, Danny. I don't think you've got much choice. Okay, round three. In 15 minutes, I will be calling a particular cell phone in the city. Why don't you return to where we first met, see if you can pick up my scent once again. Okay, uh... Molly said she was in a silver van, okay? They can't be more than six blocks from here. Put out an APB. See if we can get a trace on Molly's cell. Okay. place. No. This is where we stopped the car. This is where it started. And this is where he shot me in the ass, but I don't see anything. How much time? Uh, we got 10 minutes. I definitely think we're in the wrong place, Danny. No, wait, I could be wrong. That's, that's not from Katrina. That's today's date. You're right. That's a code. Uh, we got, we got degrees and we got clocks. Yeah, those aren't real clocks, though. There's, there's no hours. Countdown? No, no, no. It's just uh, two degrees, two clocks. Degrees, minutes, seconds. Longitude and latitude. That's a location. That's where we're going to find the phone. Come on. Longitude and latitude. How the hell do you know about this stuff, Danny? Eighth grade geography, brother. Let's go. OK, read them back to me. No, 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 no. 29 degrees, 57 minutes, three seconds. Yeah, got it. 317 Decatur. 317 Cater, yeah. That's my brother's firearms. Oh! <laughs> hey, bro. I'm doing all day ping pong turning. Why don't you come on down? You at the station? Why are you shouting? Get everybody out. There may be a bomb in the house. I'll be there in two minutes. God put a bomb in the firehouse. This guy blew up my house. He took Molly. I have no idea what he's gonna do next. 15 seconds. All right, he said he was gonna call a cell phone, a particular cell phone. Here, everybody, cell phones out. Five, four, Hello? Look at 
half, Danny. Right on time. You just earned yourself extra minutes on the next task. And speaking of devil, there's the bell for round four. There's a fire in the Orleans Savings and Loan. In the memory chip of the phone you're holding are the numbers of two security deposit boxes located on the 10th floor. To win, simply grab those boxes by 555 exactly. Or there's going to be an early knockout. You gotta be shitting me. Uh, I, not of time. I'm just gonna come in. Yeah. I'll be right there. Hey, hey. Telecom is up on your phone. They just think they found the van that Miles used to take Molly. I'm gonna go back and set up a war room, all right? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Focus. Molly needs you to focus. All right? We gotta do this. You gotta help me find her. When have I ever let you down? Huh? Inspector Fisher. Yeah. Ray Santiago, FBI. This is Inspector George Aiken. We understand that Miles Jackson's resurfaced in the area. What'd you just say? Miles Jackson. We heard he tried to contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy breaks out of prison. FBI knows about it. Nobody tells me. We understand that you're upset. Dan. Upset. Really, it was right none now. of your business. Now you keep on crying about what you did and didn't know. All you could tell us everything that happened this morning since you woke up. That is, if you want your girl back. Danny, get your rod. Best chance, Danny. Tell us what we want to know. We'll tell you what you want to know. You better talk as fast as they drive. There was a prison break in Florida two weeks ago. Miles and the inmates took the guards, killed the warden, and demanded 30 cars to drive out of the prison. And you gave them to him? It wasn't exactly our choice, Danny. The Bureau gave them cars with kill switches and remote door locks. The inmates get three blocks away from the yard. National Guard comes in, puts everyone back in their cells. Everyone except Miles. Would you please just shut up? You're killing me with the wine. You have no idea what you're up against, do you? I mean, I know you arrested him, but you still don't know. The fact Miles Jackson has your girlfriend, that interests me very little. The fact that he's done something that he never does, the fact that he's shown himself in the city, that interests me quite a bit more. You want to catch Miles, that's fine. I want to keep Molly alive, and I know what I got to do. Stay the hell out of my way. I guess he didn't hear me about the whining. Sir, this is exactly what Miles wants. We should stop Danny before somebody gets hurt. Danny? What are you, best friends now? If Danny keeps playing the game, Miles is distracted. Miles is distracted, he might make a mistake. And I'll bury him. How much time? Six minutes. I need everybody. All right, 32 minutes ago, Molly Porter was taken from the Canal Street Ferry. All right, we need every security camera, every possible witness, every vehicle plate number. This asshole calls again. I want to know where he is. I want to know what he's doing. I want to find him before he so much as thinks about touching one hair on her head. All right, this could be your girlfriend, could be your wife, could be any one of us. All right, this asshole cannot win. Yeah. Watch yourself. Yes. 
much time? Two minutes. <laughs> it's 590. 591. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Seven minutes to cross the 23 city blocks between here and the Nickel Street Wharf. Arrive at the wharf any later, the bomb goes off. The other box contains the clue to the next round. See, in your time constraints, you might want to use the fire truck for this one. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to wear the hat and use the siren. Seven minutes? We want you to be out of the building in seven minutes. That's if we take the stairs. I don't want this guy having another chance. Anchor this down. Danny. Anchor it down. Danny, you can't do this! signal. We can't even pull a number to start a trace. What's that sound, Danny? Driving a fire truck! Are you sure that's such a good idea right now?
I'm here. Well done, Danny. But I'm sorry to say, you seem to be a bit late to the party. signals the start of the next round. Oh, you're finally starting to get the hang of this. I want to speak to Molly. How about I do you one better? How about I show her to you? As I said, the clue to the next round is in the box you so deftly hung on to. You put two and two together, you might have quite the reunion. Tell me you didn't kill anybody with that thing. I need a saw. switched out your SIM card. We're tapped into your phone. We can track you wherever you go. Miles will call again, Danny. When he does, keep him on the line for 30 seconds. That's all we need to trace Miles the call. Miles' phone's encrypted. He can't trace it. You're funny. We're the FBI, not Mayberry PD. All we need is 30 seconds. All teams, listen up. Listen up. We have a location. It's the Hotel Monteleone. I repeat, it's the Hotel Monteleone. I need SWAT, and I need K-9, and I need all of you there. Now! <laughs> Seal all the exits. I need snipers on the roof. Shut down all communication in and out of the building. And start with the dog, Ray. Pull the tapes. I need to know what room this key is for. Where's your control room? Right this way. Thank you. It's clean. Clear! Clear! Fish! That's it, that's Miles. Stop it, right there. What time was this? It was like 30 minutes ago. He's writing something down. It's a sign. What's it say? We're still here. All the exits are locked down. Hey, we just found Miles on camera. Stand by for location. Yeah, hold on. He's, uh, he's talking to somebody. They're leading him somewhere. Who is that? 
It's Willie. I'm gonna go find Willie. Uh, show me everything. I need a location. So Miles rented the SUV last week in Lafayette. Left the dummy address. Now we're tracking the ID on the security deposit boxes and known working accomplices, but so far nothing. What are you missing? You know, this guy doesn't plan everything and not leave a trail. Right, let's go over the prison break again. All right. Miles and the boys take the yard. But Miles is the only one who escapes. All right, how many of these other guys got in the cars but then wound up back in their cells? 43, but the FBI already talked to him. Give me the warden on the phone. You got it. He gave Miles the access code to the security element. It was all the way to the basement. I'll meet you there. Hey, sorry if I did something wrong before. This guy, he had all the right papers. Said he was here to service the air conditioning. It's okay, you didn't know. This thing still works? One of the oldest in the city. I led him this far. Said he'd go the rest of the way on his own. Wait. Was air conditioner ducts? They go straight to the top? Yeah, the vent out to the roof. Take me there. Sir, we're clear. There's no sign of miles. So where's Bishop? service. What's this one? There's supposed to be a phone there, right? Uh, yeah, but... Oh, did I show her to you, Danny? Danny, if you're feeling this, round six has already started. I'm sure you've met your new friend, Willie. Sorry, Willie. Nothing personal. Just the wrong place at the wrong time. At the conclusion of this message, you'll have 60 seconds before the elevator refalls to the ground. With 60 seconds, limited resources, and Willie's unfortunate girth, there's only time for one of you to survive. Who lives and who dies, that is your decision. For the lucky, the clue to round seven is framed in the lobby. For the other, at least you'll be a lot thinner. Danny, he made me read this to you. We have to... Is that for real, man? I can't die. I got a wife and kids, man. Where's the security hatch? I got a radio. There's no time. How do I open this thing? You leave me here? No, we'll watch the clock. The latch, man, on top. Put the latch up there. Right, I got Stay right there. I'll get you out. Oh, shit, I can't fit through there. All right, big man, let's go. I can't. It's too no, no, far. No, you got to pull. It's your only hope. Give me your hand. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh-uh. Come on, you can reach it. Come on. It's too far, man. Come on, you can make it. Oh! Pull! Come on, come on. You gotta get up, buddy. Come on. How much time? Less than 40 seconds. That means we can work together. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Don't let go. Don't let go. I got you. I got you. Come on.
everything you could. Danny. Miles didn't give you enough time. Hey, hold it, hold it. Hey, get me Terry. Somebody bring me Terry. Come on, set it up. All right. 30 seconds. Yeah. Danny, you sound upset. Did everything you asked, Miles. You had no reason to kill him. I didn't, Danny. You had the choice to save him. It was your round to win. Oh, shit! Screw your choices, screw your rounds! Are you giving up on me? Because if you want to stop playing, I'm sure other arrangements can be made. No. All right, so. As Molly said, the clue to the next Molly round. Said Molly said nothing. I just watched the man die in there, and I don't even know if Molly's still alive. Excuse me? Yeah. Keep him on. I need, I need a minute to figure this out. Hey, well, there's nothing to figure, Danny. Is the FBI trying to trace this call? Let me guess. First it was your friends in the police department who realized the cell was encrypted. Then it was the FBI. George Aiken and all those wonderful little toys. Hold for position. Everybody hold for position. I must say, I really am touched. How you've all come together for this little affair. Not enough time. start over again, see if it's that much fun the second time around. Or maybe... Yeah. Third time, Lucky. So, as Molly said before, the clue to the next round is framed in the lobby. A picture of a lonely man Try and trace my call again. I am going to start cutting Molly's toes off. So, how about I call you again in two minutes? Would that give you ample time to grieve? We love to see you. Miles says hello. This isn't working. Before today, the feds have been up on Miles' cell phone a grand total of one time. It's working just fine. If Danny keeps doing this, a lot more people are gonna get hurt. Don't answer the phone. What the hell you think you're doing? Listen to me for a second, all right, Danny? Willie can be the last person who... Look, answer the goddamn will phone. Find Shut up! Out. Answer the goddamn phone! It was Claiborne and Toulouse. Well done, Danny. I must say, I am impressed with your detective skills, but with all the help you've been getting from the FBI, yeah, it seems just a little bit unfair. You're playing the game, Miles. It's all that counts, right? How very true, but... You know, it's time to see you play for yourself for a change. Be at the location in the photo in 10 minutes. You come alone, and you'll have a 50-50 chance of having the time of your life. We're more than halfway through, Danny, and I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. Don't be a hero, Ray. It's not in your pay grade. Danny, we got two teams, three blocks out. What do you see? I don't see anything. He 
said ten minutes. It's been ten. <laughs> Got some. Oh, Danny. Get ready to be happy. I got a pissed off member of the Black Liberation Army, is what I got. Miles had him kill a couple guards during the prison break and then left the brother behind to take the fall. When can you get him to talk? Yeah, as soon as I get the judge to sign the warrant. Give me 10 minutes. I'm gonna need it in two. You got a 50 50 chance. It's the bus. I'm getting on. You two lovebirds care for a sit? I'm gonna get you out of this. Is he just talking to someone? Just stay calm, Molly. Surprise, surprise. Testing, testing one. Is that Miles? Does he have Miles on the phone or is he there? Miles is on the bus. All teams, we have a confirmation Miles Jackson is on the bus. Proceed with Op 2 Delta and get me a sniper team out here now. This is it. This is his mistake. We got SWAT ready. Why don't we just take him out now? No, we stopped that bus now. He turns us into a bloodbath. We know where he is. We're taking our shot. Alpha 1. Set up and prepare to stop the target. Can't have you running off now, can I? Round seven, Danny. To win, you simply let me walk away. But if my thumb leaves the surface of this screen for any reason, and I don't put it back within 10 seconds or less, well, then you lose the round, and two things happen. First of all, a small charge explodes and fires a three-inch nail into Molly's heart. I'm aiming for the right atrium, but we'll see what happens. 30 seconds later, after she's dead, a second larger charge will explode and they'll be cleaning everyone up off this bus in pieces. What can I say, Danny? I'd just like to play the game. I didn't mean for Erica to die. I don't think that matters. That's the one I want. Set up on the 10 overpass. SWAT team, this is Agent Santiago. Take position to the north on the interstate overpass at Bernito. Await instructions. Here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should see the look in your faces. Miles, let her go. It's between you and me. Well, I'm afraid if I let Molly go, Danny, you won't play the game. Look at those eyes. You're thinking, can I get to the phone on time? Why did Miles ask to meet me here? Fuck you! Very clever. I asked you here, Danny, 
because I wanted to see the face of a man who knows he can't win. The face of a man whose life is sitting five feet in front of him, yet he can't just reach out and grab her. Huh. Is there something funny? Yeah, there is. He's gonna win, and then he's gonna kill you. She's a feisty one, isn't she? This miles that bomb blows, you die too. What's keeping me from reaching over there and kicking the shit out of you? Nothing. But I know you won't. Because you're predictable, Danny. You think I'm lying? Here, take it. All teams, hold on my mark. So that's a 75-yard shot through a moving bus window. One sniper's got to break the glass, another one's got to get the hit. Are you sure this is how you want to do this? Team Delta, prepare for visual. Teams Bravo and Charlie hold for extract one shot survive. This is Delta One. We have confirmed subject, but no clear shot. No clear shot. Female hostages in and out of the target line. Don't want to take it? Fine. Well, here's something that you will want. Clue to round eight. I repeat, you have the green light. Take him out. You know you're gonna kill that girl. I'm gonna kill Miles. On my mark. Go. Get down! Parker's not down. not gonna stop. I got an idea.
to cut the power from the roof. for my go. Is she okay? You okay, dog? Yeah. She's okay. Yeah. Dog, uh, we gotta start taking the bus. No, that'd be great. That's a great idea. Why don't you guys go ahead and do that? Thank you. They're gonna shut off the power. It's getting a little too easy, Miles. What are you getting soft on me? How about you give me something that's gonna be a challenge, huh? You sound pretty pleased with yourself, Danny. Why, because you stopped the trolley? Or because you went ahead with your own round? Very admirable. Okay, welding factory, second floor hallway. If round 10 is your best friend taking Anthony DeLuso, then round 11 is me taking your best friend.
Hey, pick up. Come on. It's going to voicemail. All right. It's going to voicemail. You are persistent. You honestly didn't think a man like Miles wouldn't have a plan for something like this. Well, whatever the plan is, apparently you're not part of it. Somebody on the phone, I'm trying to get you a straight answer, but nobody's got anything. How can you not get a straight answer? I told you. Miles knew about it. He knew about everything. He knew about Hank. He knew about Deluso. He was at the warehouse. I hear what you're saying. It's been a half hour, man. Danny, Something. I know. Anything. Yeah. There was an explosion at the factory. The firefighters on the scene now, but Hank was inside. There's no way he could have made it. I'm sorry. Danny, wait. Danny, wait, wait, wait. Get off of me! Hey. Okay, look. Three years ago, Miles stole three stingers from a U.S. military shipment in Iraq. We tracked him to Pakistan, but the day the deal went down, I lost Miles, and I lost the guns. Two days later, one of those stingers shot down a 747 out of his mama bag. This was the only thing I could find intact in the rubble. What I'm saying is I made a mistake here. I forgot why I carry this. This isn't about Miles. This is about the people he's hurt and the ones he's gonna hurt. You guys, I'm never gonna see her. Don't say that. Look, yes, you are. We got one round left. Now, and I know Miles better than any person alive. Let me help you. This time, we won't be going to the judges' scorecards. In 17 minutes, it will be exactly one year since Erica's death. And I have to ask, will Molly suffer a similar fate? Miles, you don't have to do this. Too late. You know, you've done well to survive this long. Now, all you have to do is find her. She has a touch phone strapped to her chest, along with some other more explosive items, except this time, only your thumbprint, only your touch can stop the timer. Tell me where she is. Are you sorry for what you've done? Yes, Miles. I'm sorry. Then perhaps maybe you should pay her a visit. Tell her so yourself. It's been fun, Danny, but game over. Pay Erica a visit? It's the cemetery. Where is she buried? Where is she buried? I need you to pull the cemetery records of all Orleans Parish. Last name Tessa, K-E-S-S-E-N. First name Erica, that's what it's see. This is Ray Santiago of the FBI. I need a police escort. We are Canal and Royal heading out of the CBD. Battery Cemetery. Yeah, you can tell whoever gets there, don't touch anything. I'm the only one that can defuse that bomb. We know, Danny. Now, but remember, this is Miles. The cemetery might just be the first step. Bullshit! Why have I been doing this shit all day? Danny, if you wanted to kill us, you should have just done it with your chance. Danny, you're full. Yeah. Danny, Chuck Jansen. Listen, two things Hank had me working on, they're not making any sense. I ran a trace on all five numbers from earlier. They were all connected to the device under the streetcar. All five numbers. Not only that, Miles had remote cameras in the elevator shaft. We pulled the tapes. He blew the device early, Danny. You still had five seconds to save Willie. Like I said, it was the last thing Hank had me working on, but... Danny, 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 why are we stopping? Willie was always gonna die. What are you talking about? Miles, 
had security cameras in the elevator, saw I was going to save him and blew the charge early. And all those numbers, all five of them, were connected to the same streetcar. You already told me once, George. I arrested this guy. I don't even know. This is your guy. What, what am I missing? Joshua. Every time he plays, what does Miles want? He wants to win. Miles wants to be the guy that nobody can beat. No, the deal with Samuel and Joshua, I mean, he went through a lot of trouble to get some revenge. But what else did we find in the car? Diamonds. He steals from the US military, he sells it for a profit. He's had Molly for over three and a half hours. Not once has he mentioned ransom. This isn't about revenge. It is about the money. Hey, give me all the information we got on the security guard from the hotel. Please. Lily Dumain has a second job as a Homewood security guard. Hi, Tom Baxter. Office called, said uh, Willie Domain's a no-show. I'm picking up his shift. Thank you. This guy said us running all day. For one second, we just got to stop and think. Today, what did I actually do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does this even matter? I mean, you're still the only one who could deactivate that bomb. He took my house, took Molly. Well, that's what he did to get you to play. What else happened at the hotel? Blew the gas lines. They evacuated three city blocks. Three city blocks? Three city blocks. Give me a list of those buildings. Anyone would have gone back to that very streetcar. I had to stop the streetcar. No, 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 no. You had to cut the power. After Katrina, when the power's out all over the city, Homewood Security comes in to move all the unprotected cash. Wait a second. What was that last one? Holy shit. One of the buildings that we evacuated is a temporary holding facility for the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. That's the goddamn mint. Glad y'all got here. Our backup generator's gonna run out at midnight. The Fed's been pulling all the old hundreds and fifties out of circulation. It's the entire southeast alone. Total's just over a hundred million dollars. Hey, Ray, you go with SWAT to the Mint and you shut everything down. All cars, all pedestrians. You stop it and you lock it in the quarter. Hey, we got eight minutes to get you to the cemetery. What you want, Miles? Not till we get Molly. Thanks. Thank me when it's over. isn't getting anywhere. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Molly's at the cemetery. Nope. That asshole even told me to wear the hat and use a siren. Steal it. He threatens my brother, so I'm not thinking straight. He shows me Molly to keep me in the game. It's obvious. If she's still alive, Molly's to stick it out. I need to speak with hospital security. Wake up! 
Like I say, we will both live happily ever after. Now, where are those body bags? University Hospital. Let nobody in or out. Think you can fly us to Tahiti in this thing, yeah? Get in. They're here. Take it off.
knockout, Danny. But this time, you're not going to get saved by the bell. Hold on, Danny. Hold on. from the bus. It's one of us. What hurts? Everything. Oh. About the house. 